Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Dub Nation, Timberwolves fans, welcome back to another Rotary Entertainment Warriors recap video. And as you guys see, the Warriors handled business tonight, beating the Timberwolves 130-108. Uh, the Warriors throughout this game did let the Timberwolves hang in. Malik Beasley was a freaking beast for the Timberwolves tonight, man. 30 points and seven rebounds for Malik Beasley tonight. He kept the Timberwolves in this game all night. Timberwolves without Carl Anthony Towns due to COVID, without D'Angelo Russell due to a quad injury. Now they stuck around for a while. Warriors are able to pull away at the second of the fourth quarter because Steph freaking Curry, man. Curry with 15 points in the fourth quarter on route to a 36 point performance Four rebounds and three assists, along with three steals tonight for Steph. He was phenomenal. Uh, again, there was a back and there was kind of a back and forth game. Warriors never really gave up. They never gave up the lead. The Warriors led from the first bucket to the final bucket, outscored the Timberwolves every quarter, but the fourth, third quarter where they were outscored 29-25. It was a great game for the Golden State Warriors. Obviously, I would have liked to blow them up by one in just 22 points. But hey, a dub's a dub. Let's take a look at the stats, the rest of the stats. Uh, Vanderbilt for the Timberwolves, 20, uh, 12 points, 5 rebounds. Nice Reed, who did, fell out of the game. Nice Reed, 11 and 10, 3 to double-double. Uh, off the bench, 15 for Anthony Edwards, the rookie. You know, this was the number one pick. This was the number two pick. Both rookies had pretty solid games. Although Edwards was 4-13. Uh, 15 for McLaughlin, 15 and 5. For the Warriors, Draymond Green had 10, 6, and 4 tonight. 23 and 6 for Andrew Wiggins. We're going to talk about him here in a second. 14, 4, and 6. Wow, 14, 6, 4, and 3 for Oubre. Off the bench, Pascal struggled. 2 of 10, 5 points. 5 for baseball, 13, for, 13 and 4 for Wiseman. 9 for Wanamaker, 9 for Damian Lee. All right, so first off, let's talk about this. Steve Kerr with brand new rotations today. He took James Wiseman out of the starting lineup, put in Kevon Looney, basically saying, hey, we need better defense. We need a veteran to start the game for us. A, it worked out. Looney didn't do much, but his defense was really solid tonight. Wiseman, 16, point, uh, 16 minutes, 13 points, 4 of 5, 5 of 8 from the free throw line. He was solid. Andrew Wiggins, ladies and gentlemen, 10 of 19. 23 points. His defense was freaking incredible again. Kelly Oubre and Andrew Wiggins' defense tonight were really good. Same with Draymond Green. Those three defense defense tonight was freaking amazing, man. Can we just shout out to Andrew Wiggins, man? We all, as Warrior fans, knew this dude would have a great, a good season, but he's having a freaking phenomenal season, man. Offensively and defensively, Andrew Wiggins has been the second best player behind Steph Curry this year, man. So, shout out to Wiggins. Kelly Oubre started out bad, ended up 4 of 9, shooting more than 50%. A little less than 50%, sorry. 14 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals. So, why Oubre didn't shoot that well tonight, he was all over the place, whether it was on defense, scoring, assisting, Stealing, blocking. He was all over the place. Wiseman. Pretty solid game off the bench for the rookie. Maybe this is his better role right now. Stay on the bench. Play the second unit. Eric Pascal, man. It's just been struggling. Hopefully he gets over it soon. But he had five points. Two of ten shooting tonight. So he needs to step it up. Warriors again. Let's talk about two negatives for the Warriors. 16. Offensive rebounds given up. That's got to stop, man. We got to get something. We got to do something to stop that. It's just every day they're giving up 10 or more offensive rebounds. Thing is, tonight the Warriors had 15 offensive rebounds. So we want to take away a bad, equally bad for the Timberwolves is they allowed 15 offensive rebounds, uh, including six for Wiggins. Sick Wiggins and Oubre were all over the place tonight, man. Steph. Showed up on offense. Wiggins and Oubre kind of... Oh, well, Oubre kind of showed up on offense. And they both showed up on the defensive side. Uh, the Warriors missed nine free throws. 28 to 37. 
They shot 14 of 30 from downtown, so that's really solid. 49 from the field, so that's really solid. The Warriors clean up the rebounding, clean up the uh, um, free throwing. 15 turnovers, and you can live with that, I guess. Uh, they did get 18 for the Timberwolves. For the Timberwolves, 41 for the floor, so that's not bad. 33 from down 10, 8 to 24. But the Warriors, they need to clean up the rebounding, clean up the turnovers a little bit, clean up the rebounding, uh, not the rebounding, the free throwing. Warriors and Timberwolves once again next Wednesday. Make sure y'all hit that like and sub button and notification bell if you're first time on your channel. I go live for every Warriors game. Warrior fans, Timberwolves fans, I'll be live. Warriors, Timberwolves on Wednesday. Same place, same time, same arena, same team. The Timberwolves moved the, uh, I think, a worst record, worst uh, league, worst four in twelve, one and six on the road. Warriors now back over five hundred once again at nine and eight. This is a good week for the Warriors. Hopefully, we can take care of business again on Wednesday. Got the Suns on Thursday. It's going to be a tough game. And then Saturday, we got Warriors and Pistons. Another game the Warriors need to take care of. But again, Malik Beasley was a fucking beast today for the Timberwolves. 30 points on 10 of 18. 4 of 9 for downtown. 7 rebounds. He was great. The only bright spot tonight besides a double-double for Nice Reed. Uh, but Malik Beasley without D'Lo, without Carl Anthony Towns. Was so good, man. And I'm glad I have him in fantasy. So, uh, yeah, all around good game for the Warriors. Not great. You'd like to see them. I mean, they did put up 130 points. That's fucking phenomenal. And only give up 108. But I'd like to see the Warriors on Thursday with a back on Wednesday with a back to back Thursday. Blow out them the entire game. Get up early like they did. They started off 19 and they started out the game with a 19 to 4 run. Uh opposite of the Utah game. Uh, I'd like to see them be up 20, 25, 30 points the entire game. Keep that lead. Let our starters rest the second half. Get ready to go for Thursday. But yeah, otherwise, not much to talk about. What we just all we talked about. Steph, Wiggins, Oubre, solid games. Uh Wiseman really started off the bench. Malik Beasley a beast. Warriors gotta start. Yeah, gotta clean up the boards, clean up the free throwing, clean up the turnover turnovers, and I'll be good to go. Alright, guys. That is my recap, my breakdown of this game. A good game for the Warriors, led from the first bucket to the last bucket. Never gave up the lead. Uh, let's see the Warriors can sweep this series. Once again, Warriors and Timberwolves on Wednesday. I'll be live for that game. Come on by and hang out. See the Warriors can take care of business like they did tonight. Steph Curry, 15 points in the second quarter, uh, fourth quarter. He was amazing tonight. And Andrew Wiggins continued to shine. Alright guys, well that would do it for this recap video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. This is Roger Entertainment saying remember to take care. Spike you here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like and sub button if you haven't. And we'll see you guys on the channel next time. Alright guys, y'all have a good day. And one more thing. Warriors come out to play. Yay. Peace out guys. Thank you for watching. And go Warriors.